You can access digital books via computer, mobile app, or mobile browsers. And our cloud-based reader allows book access from multiple computers or mobile devices. Download and easily access your Brightwave digital textbooks. Study anytime, anywhere. After logging in, you land on your Brightwave library, which has a new and customer-focused interface seen throughout the platform. The library view provides a compilation of all your available Brightwave digital textbooks. From this screen, you can activate your title and open the book. To activate your book, enter the PIN code and click Enter. In the upper left corner, you will see the menu icon. Click this to expose the menu on the left, which provides a link to our help site, settings, one-touch access to all of our applications, and the ability to log out. Click Settings on the Library menu, and you can change your Brightwave account password. Just type in your current password, then your new one, and click Submit. To download your Brightwave title for offline use when you are on the go or do not have internet connectivity, you need to download the Brightwave app. These apps are available on Mac and Windows PCs, as well as on the App Store and Google Play Store. To download the apps, navigate to the menu icon in Library View and select Download Apps. From here you can select the appropriate app for the device you are using. To download a title, you must first be in one of the Brightwave apps. In the Brightwave apps, you have two ways to download your Brightwave titles so that you have them available on the go. When you are in the Brightwave library, select the Manage Titles link, find the title you want to download, and select Download Now. Or, when you are inside your title reading view, select the menu icon, and then select Download This Title. Clicking a book in the library displays the reading view of your Brightwave title, which shows the pages as well as the essential tools needed to maximize your reading experience. On any page, you are able to adjust the page view by using the zoom in and out options on the bottom toolbar. You also have the ability to move into distraction-free mode. This eliminates all toolbars to maximize your reading experience. There are many navigation options. For example, the left and right sides of the screen display arrows that enable you to move from page to page. Also, pagination is the same in the digital book and the print version. The page numbers are the same in both. If a larger page jump is necessary, the scroll navigation feature and the go to page feature move to another section of your textbook quickly and efficiently. Using the go to page feature, let's advance to page 187. On this page, you can see a few of the 10 highlighting color options. To highlight, select the text by dragging your cursor across the section you would like to highlight. Select Highlight from the bottom toolbar, and the text appears in your preferred color. And if you want to remove a highlight, select the text and click No Color. The Note feature is another tool accessible from the Reading View. Click the Note option on the toolbar, and the Note Creation field displays. Here you enter a title and body for your note. If you click the Share with Others at Your School button, this note is viewable by others at your school with this digital book. Notice the copy and print options at the bottom. These have a designated percent of the title that you can print or copy. The number of copies and page prints is dependent on publisher settings. For example, you can select text to copy and click the copy button. Press the keystroke to copy and you can paste whatever you like. Similarly, you can print pages from the book. Click the print button, enter the page range, and click continue. The last feature on the Reading View is the Bookmark feature. To activate a bookmark, simply select the Bookmark icon and the page is added to your bookmarks list. When you're in Reading View, there are additional menu options available by clicking the Menu icon. One of the most used features on the Brightwave platform is the Search function. You can search not only your book, but notes as well. Next, let's look at Bookmarks. In the Bookmarks view, you can title each of your bookmarks and link directly to the page where it was created or delete an unwanted bookmark. The Notes and Highlights menu brings you to a summary view of all the notes and highlights that have been saved in the Brightwave title. From this menu, you have the ability to edit, delete, or link directly to the page where your notes were created. You can view all of your highlights that have been added throughout the title by clicking Saved Highlights.
and you can view others' shared notes by clicking Notes from Others. The Table of Contents is used to navigate directly to the beginning of a chapter. Display Options gives you the ability to adjust your digital textbook to create a comfortable reading environment. Options include a one- or two-page view, fit-to-width and fit-to-height display options, the ability to zoom in or out, and also background color adjustment. Even though it's simple to use, Brightwave also includes a robust help system. Here you can search for help topics and view the full table of contents to learn more about Brightwave. For more information on the Brightwave Reader, visit reader.brightwave.com help. Also, visit us at brightwave.com and check out the Frequently Asked Questions or the Contact Us link to reach someone directly. Brightwave is accessible on the web, through our PC and mobile apps, through reader.brightwave.com, or if your school is integrated with Brightwave, you can access through your learning management system, such as Sakai, Desire2Learn, Moodle, or Canvas.